wouldn't encourage them. There's only one. <laughs> People might assume that since my main function is with PBS that you don't want to talk about craft in an out-and-out -out comedy, especially one aimed at kids, but craft is what it's all about really, isn't it? Yes, it's, 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 it's very hard to make a funny comedy. I know. Comedy, of course, we all know the cliché about uh, comedy is the hardest thing to do. You can always find great comic actors who can do excellent serious work. Yes. But it doesn't reverse, does it? Always. It, do, it, do, it doesn't always reverse. I think one of the really hard things about comedy is that um, with the end result, if you have a drama and you put it into a theater and people aren't reacting in a big way, it might be okay because it's a drama. With a comedy, if people aren't laughing, you're done. <laughs> so what does that mean in a case like this? A lot of test audiences? No, we, te we tested it twice. The film's very personal to me. So when I'm writing the film, I'm really writing the things that make me laugh. I never try to second guess what other people are going to laugh at because I think once you go down that route, you're dead. And of <laughs> course, it's, it's different it's for almost everybody. I imagine it is. Yes. It is. So I can trust what I think is funny. And if it makes me laugh as I'm writing it, I hope it's going to make people laugh when they see it in movies. What would be your target audience for this? What age range? Um, all ages, I think. Well, of course, uh, in, in that's understandable. No, but look, I know, I know that's usually a, that's, that's a pad answer, like, it's uh, for everyone from 8 to 80. <laughs> but I think I would say 8 and up. Because prime, don't you think, I mean, you correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just assuming that you're expecting a lot of people to bring their kids to this. I'm expecting a lot of people to bring their kids so to this. So you want those kids to be happy. So I'm thinking that what targets them is probably the most important if you had to prioritize. Mm. The worst thing I could do to make this movie a success would be to target the kids. Okay. Because right. kids are much more sophisticated than people give them credit for. I think all comedy is pretty much the same. I mean, I show my daughter, for example, Pink Panther films yes. with Peter Sellers. She laughs at them just as much. How old's your daughter? She's 11. Okay. She laughs at good comedy, and I think that's what it is. If you take a movie that's very, that's an adult comedy, a, a movie that's skewed to adults, like The Hangover, for example, yes. which is about a bunch of guys, something goes wrong, they have a terrible time, and then if you take out all the profanity, and you take out uh, the more adult elements of it, that's really what I'm left with in a wimpy kid movie, but in terms of structure, and in terms of pacing jokes, and in terms of putting jokes on screen, it really isn't for me any different. Last question, since you want me out of here, about the ensemble. Yeah. It really is, in a way, an ensemble film, as much as uh, Downton Abbey or any other film, which automatically you know is an ensemble. It really is an ensemble film. And, you know, we have a great cast for this one. It was, it was nice. We got together before we started shooting. Everyone got to know each other. I wanted to get that family atmosphere going. And everyone hit it off. So it was a, it was a very happy, fun set. Well, you did cast two of the nicest people as the parents <laughs> in the entire Hollywood community. <laughs> they, are, mm -hmm. they are both lovely. They are both great. And the kids are fantastic, too. Everyone was, uh, everyone was, everyone was a real pro, and everyone had fun. Thank you so much. Thank you so show. much.